All right, welcome back. We are on our second episode of our Factions playthrough. And this is where I came from. Prophecies brought my Mesmer over by boat uh, from Lion's Ark. And we are in the first mission area called Vizuna Square. This is the foreign quarter because we are foreigners in this strange new land. Uh, I passed by some like small quests last episode and I'm not really sure if I should be doing them or not. I realize there's not really any skill quests on the mainland for Prophecies players. Uh, all of the skill quests are from Xingjie Island over here, which we haven't gone to. I don't think I have access to those quests even if I were to go over there though. Who's a player here? Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, we're in the first mission area. And uh, I before I start, I want to check out some of the Mesmer skills. And there's a skill trainer here. Her name is... What's her name? I saw it a second ago. Wow, there's some players here. Where am I going? Okay. Here. And then there's a bridge. But yeah, I think I'm going to check out some of the Mesmer skills. And I also need a Signet of Capture. I'm pretty poor. Uh, <laughs> I spent a lot of money on Signet of Captures in Prophecies. But I think we should get at least one Signet of Capture as well as looking around. Uh, see what we got here. That might be another reason to do quests here. Because we can get some um, money through the quest, I think. Uh, so I need one Signet of Capture, but let's look at some of... Wow, there's like tons of skills I can choose from. Uh, can go through some Illusion Magic. This would be nice for... Instead of Phantom Pain. Kind of like Phantom Pain, but if there's two or more Hexes, they start suffering from Deep Wound. That's pretty awesome. I might pick that up. Uh, Ancestor's Visage. Oh, this is just... This is the... Sympathetic Visage. So some of the skills from... From, um... Factions and some of the skills from Prophecies are the same. They just have different names. Forgot about that, too. Conjure Nightmare. Illusion of Pain. Minus 10 health degen. Takes 10 damage each second. That is a crazy... Oh, but then it heals them. So I guess the goal is within those 8 seconds you're hoping to... Um, you're hoping to take them out. Images of Remorse. A lot of these skills are really strong, it seems. 5 energy cast, 10 seconds. Minus 3 health agent if they're attacking. That foe takes 55 damage. And Kita's Burden. So that's another example of the illusionary imagined burden. It's like the same skill. Isn't it? Slightly different. Oh no, this is the same as Ethereal Burden. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Yeah, it's really weird how they did that. The next really cast. Anyway, I'm going to do some thinking about I think I'm, I'm going to definitely pick up accumulated pain and then I'm going to run well, let me get some gold really quick I got some materials to sell need to go down to where's the materials merchant material trader I don't know if you guys are interested in watching this but here it is Making some money, some quick cash, real quick. Boom. Wow, iron ingots are worth a lot currently. These are not worth much. These are not worth much. We got enough gold for that one spell. And I was hoping to get some players for. I might, I might put like an all chat. Ask if anyone wants to help me with. Zuna Square. You never know. Uh, what was the spell? Accumulated Pain. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna slowly acquire a lot of these skills. 
I really have so many to go through. I didn't look at any of the dominations. That'd be something I'd look at later. Uh, for this mission, I'm going to run uh, Ineptitude, I think. Ineptitude Fragility. That might be pretty good here. Because we're going to be dealing with warriors and um, assassins now. And blinding an assassin is a pretty great idea. Let's... Let me fast forward this. Um, hold on. All right, we're back. I'm going to go with this build, an aptitude build, leaving a signet of capture for uh, capping elites. I'm gonna just going to put out into the chat. Hey. <laughs> Help with the Zuna Square. We'll see if anyone bites. Warren, we got one person jo joining. Judging by their name, though, it looks like. I only do. Oh, cool. I think they meant local. I can also only do foreign, so there is no one on local. Okay. I don't understand. Obviously, I'm not going to push them if they don't want to do it. If no one bites, I'm just going to do it with henchmen. It would be really cool, as uh, I think someone in the comments uh wrote it would be cool to do a 16 man of the zuna square maybe we should just go there see if anyone joins maybe there's some people in the, in the area probably not i can check lion's arc all right, uh, I spent some time in uh, Lion's Ark and Kanang asking for people. Almost had some people interested in coming, uh, but in the end, we are alone. Um, yeah, as someone mentioned in the comments, it would be cool to get more people, like 16 players. I would definitely be down to do that. So if you're interested, uh, leave a comment and then we can... We can set an arrangement, like a schedule to do it. I would totally be down to do it again. But I want to—I don't want to be stuck trying to get players in this. Uh, it's kind of not what this is about anyway. So we're just going to do it with henchmen. Let's add... Well, since, since we're running a, uh, a fragility build, I'm going to be using deep wound. Getting... Uh, applying it through this new faction skill, accumulated pain. It's awesome and blind so i've got two uh conditions i need to get my healers set up uh, my support necro and now i think we can have weakness from devona we can have burning with sin bleeding from aiden and some other what does emmy have emmy has um let's see i checked it last episode and i forgot already 
seems that Emmy is using dazed. Yeah, she can cause daze, blinding. Got interrupt. She's got daze and blind, so. Yeah. I think this is a pretty condition heavy team. Anyway, let's let's try it out. This is a pretty long mission, so I want to get started ASAP. It has a super long mission timer start because it is hoping uh it is allowing for us to match with another player team hopefully it would be it would be really great if we got players on the other team as well but i believe if no one joins from the other team it's going to be a, a it's going to be a team of henchmen led by master togo either way we will have 16 teammates or 16 allies including ourselves so it'll be interesting Vizuna Square okay so I think with Menlo, our job is to meet up with Togo. The cool thing about the missions in factions, I don't know if it's a cool thing actually, because I, I mentioned before, I'm not really a big fan of rushing through content. Uh, but that's pretty much what you have to do in factions if you want to get a bonus. In uh, Prophecies, of course, you have bonus objectives that are optional uh, for completing the missions. Uh, in Factions, it's just there's a mission, and if you can complete it fast enough, you can get... Uh, I think there's one or two bonus like rewards in, in, in uh, the form of money and experience, I think. But yeah, we're going to go for Masters, of course. Menlo must survive, Togo must survive. We got two NPCs we have to keep alive. Generally though, the henchmen are probably stronger than most players at this stage because uh, a lot of players at this first stage of factions kind of rush through. They might not even have like uh, elite skills and stuff. And Prophecies players coming over like I am are probably going to be generally pretty strong if they've completed prophecies ahead of time. I think we're gonna clean house. Oh, the Amfa. These are like the gangsters of the streets. I always thought they were a really cool enemy, enemy group. Factions has loads of human enemies. Where prophecies you're fighting mostly like... I mean, of course, the, the white mantle and stuff. Uh, but in fact, in, in Prophecies, mostly you're fighting, um, creatures, some sort of monsters of some type. They were all spread out, so my build was kind of not suited for that kind of battle. Yeah, so there's Togo down there. He's already, they're already fighting. So we need to get their ASAP. I don't think they can fail. I think they may, I think, uh... Arena Net made them invulnerable if it's an all if it's an all henchman party. Definitely back in the day when you're playing with other players, um, you had to worry about Togo's team failing before you get there. And if, again, if Togo dies, the whole mission's over. So that was something to worry about. Oops. So this. Basically, by running Accumulated Pain, it frees up us needing to use Phantom Pain and uh, Shattered Delusions. So it frees up an entire... We removed all of our Domination attributes, and it frees up an extra skill slot, which is perfect because we needed to bring Signet of Capture anyway. This is just a superior... I think it's just a superior skill all around. You lose the health degeneration, but usually when you're using Phantom Pain anyway... Um, you weren't, uh, you weren't really utilizing the de degeneration from 
Phantom Pain. So it's just, it's just better. Ideally, this ineptitude only lasts four seconds, and ideally you can get both of these X's off in order to trigger accumulated pain. I guess it's kind of risky now that I'm thinking about it. If they trigger ineptitude too early, then I waste accumulated pain. Yeah, they're not taking any damage. And I think a lot of their team has uh, conditions as well, so this is a pretty, this is going to be a really strong build that we have here. Honestly, I think this is actually going to be faster and easier than having players, now that I think about it. Ooh, that burst damage was crazy. Alright. Look how many people we have on our team, and have a Minium Master. Master Togo, I'm at your disposal. I will make the introduction later. For now, we have a fight on our hands. Come. I just realized I'm offline. Let me set to online. I should be using Epidemic more often too, I just realized. Ooh, purple daggers just dropped. Not max damage though. How are we not getting max damage weapons at this stage? Flagborn daggers. Oh, those are nice. They have a nice uh, upgrade there. Can I harvest those? No. Yeah, honestly, this is... This is way easier with these super OP henchmen. I mean, they're all running very highly um, effective skills, and attributes, and everything. Max armor, elite skills. Definitely better equipped than the average player at this stage. And this build that I'm running is just doing loads of damage. There's one Mesmer skill in this mission, and I think it's random, which... Um, whoops. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. Ooh. That was a lot of AoE. Oh, but yeah, I think it's random which bosses spawn. So that was the Assassin, which has a pretty nice farming build, Shadow Form. How many boss we got how many bosses do we need to fight before we move on? Okay. Let's go. Again, we're trying to not run too fast, because I don't wanna lose, but we wanna go fast enough to get the bonus. Need to be careful, yeah, because Om Fall come out of nowhere. Man, they die too quickly. I can't even can't even get my combo off. I should just use ineptitude.
Yeah, we have so many conditions. I I don't need to really get my full combo off. If I just cast Fragility or Ineptitude, generally it's going to trigger. They're just taking so much damage. They're like running away from us. What's going on? Okay. Do I have any keys? Nope. I almost have a full stack of cloth. It's like a, this plague is kind of like zombies. It turns them against each other. The Ooh, the explosions. Forgot I have some inspiration skills I should be using. Yeah, how is this plague spreading? And they don't really explain why the plague doesn't affect us. I guess we're just... We got plot armor. Oh, interesting. Hexes don't work on spirits. You're immune to hexes. Why is Togo all the way up here? Let's get everyone... Menlo, are you gonna come? Get everyone together here. Oh, he's healing all of the... All of the minions, so he's kind of lagging behind. Yeah, actually, I didn't even take into account. We have two extra, so we got uh, 18 teammates for this mission. There's just no way we're going to fail with that many people. All right, we're wasting time. Let's go, guys. And then these... Like the fle flesh golem's level 25, the vampire core is level 17. Kind of an easy mode mission, actually. I remember back in the day of being really tough. But again, I think we were accustomed, I was accustomed to henchmen being not really strong from prophecies, and then suddenly they're actually really strong. Like, I don't really need to do anything. Except Togo. Let's save Togo here. There go. Nice burst. Oof. Really good. Kind of cycling through enemies here. Like they're taking so much AoE, they're just running away. And that's just from my teammates doing that. He is. Okay, never mind. I thought he dodged my hex for a second. I don't think we have to move from this spot. We just have to defend, right? And we're kind of waiting. In each area, we're waiting for um, a boss to show up. And then once you defeat the boss, I think you go on to the next area. So 
stolen speed. It's the, that's the Mesmer Hex we're trying to steal or capture. I guess I should, I guess it might be more effective if I just, um, try and get fragility on as many enemies as possible. Okay, we can get the warrior. That's what, um, Devona's using right now. When your rage smash hits, you gain one strike of adrenaline. If you hit a moving bow, you strike for 10 and your fo target is knocked down. It's a really good kind of spammable hammer skill okay the enemies just fall before I can even cast my spells on them it would have been really annoying running illusionary weaponry in this build in this mission actually wouldn't even get a chance to strike them Yeah, I can't tell, like, some of these guys look really suspicious running at me like that. This guy carrying a hammer, where are you going with that? <laughs> like, you're obviously going to be an afflicted warrior. This guy looks suspicious. Got my eye on him. Okay. All of the enemies are running elite skills as well. But they're just not that strong. Oh, I forgot to... We got that armor. Bonding power. That could be... A, I think that's a pretty uh, valuable one. Nice AoE blind. They do zero damage now. All those assassins got blinded. I mean, when I get blind on the attacking enemies, it's pr this build pretty much becomes like a protection. Party-wide protection. I think this is the last stage already. I thought this was a long mission. This is just so easy with 18 characters. Let's flag them near here. Hopefully we get the last um, Mesmer boss I'm hoping to capture. It's not a particularly great um, skill though actually so if we miss it I'm not going to be too upset we are kind of poor so I said we I didn't mean to drag you guys into this I am kind of poor <laughs> yeah, I have my henchmen there cool they naturally kind of split up so should be fine Master Togo's here, Menlo's here. I can't really control where where um, Togo or Menlo go, so I just need to make sure they're alive. Ooh. Nice burst. Yeah, the monks and ritualists, they need to go down first, right? Because they are all the healing.
you get resurrected just then? Maybe not. Very hectic. This is really crazy if you had a lot of people just a lot of players just running around doing their own thing not staying with the group it would it will be fun to do it and come back with 16 full players but again it's kind of a relief Togo, where are you at? Why are you dying? Oh my gosh. The one's exploding us right now. Oof, right when I was saying how easy this was. The elementalists are scary. Oops, wrong skill. This should be it. Yep, there's the ranger boss, darn. I guess we're not gonna get the mesmer skill. Oof. Started precasting my healing there, that was lucky. down these stragglers all right go and just like that within 30 minutes of mission time actually I don't even know how long this mission has been going this is less than 30 minutes for sure All moving? Where are they at? Oh, they're talking to each other. I remember this bookstore. Master had held magic and religious texts from across the world. I thought our temple was defaced because it was a holy place, but it was it too was a center of learning. Shiro must be looking for something. We must find him before he finds it. So Shiro was here already, I guess. I don't mind sticking around and talking, but again, I want to get the bonus here. Petty street criminals, you're not concerned with. Seriously, these guys, like, can barely even get an attack off. We're, we're a legit army. Look at all these guys. Terrifying. Alright, I think this is it. Why is Togo going that way? What are you guys doing? So it's interesting, the henchmen all follow me. I thought the other henchmen would follow Togo. But my flags only affect my henchmen. The other henchmen follow me no matter what. So it's kind of a way I can I can split our groups up if I needed to. Okay, so we're fighting a Shuroken. I have like a god, I've breathed life into this body. Come feel my, the bite of my blades if you doubt me. So Shiro is like building these 
weird afflicted warriors. The afflicted kind of remind me of the flood from uh, Halo. You guys play, remember Halo back in the day? He's like weird bulbous, almost fungal looking enemies. Definitely, they got some inspiration from it, I think. Boom. So there's standard reward, expert reward, master reward. Reward. We got all three. 450 gold, something like that. Wait, is Shiro a ghost? Then is that that guy's head? Okay, so Hiro or Shiro is an envoy, so he's not technically alive. That's good. We return to you, your departed souls. We give back to you the gift of life. Yeah, I guess since since Shiro tried to take us out personally, they were allowed to intervene. I guess. Ah, Wei no Su, the celestial test. Menlo and I know it well. I do That's not basically like ascension, I think. Why do you wish us to pass this test? Spirits in this realm can hide themselves from the view of mortals. Until you have become closer to the stars, you will not be able to see Shiro, let alone fight him. I see. What's the <laughs> What's up with the camera? Like out of sync or something. All right, we finished the first mission successfully. Uh now we're in this is kind of a cool spot we might do this we're gonna do this next episode i think this is like a uh challenge mission you get some points and bonuses and i think gold and stuff for doing it i'm not sure uh we might do it just for fun um but yeah this was the first mission we did it i uh i know i wanted to get as many people as possible to do Vizuna square i tried there's just not many people on at this time i think uh, but yeah, if you if you guys want to if you want me to get like a organized party together I'm totally down for going back and doing it with full 16. I think that would be really really fun uh, So just let me know in the comments below and uh, Thanks for joining and we'll get 
factions on the road. We'll keep going with this. All right, thanks. Peace.